One of the dreams of people who built the internet and the people that have put so much information online is that the internet would serve as this repository of useful information that would allow us to make good decisions and allow us to find out things about the world. And the interesting thing is that that hasn't necessarily come to pass. Despite the fact that the internet is full of accurate, reliable, and useful data about a variety of different topics, what we've discovered, or what we've noticed over the past couple decades is people are as confused as they were before, if not more. And people continue to hold beliefs that are completely at odds with scientific evidence, with all the experiments we're able to do, and with all the capabilities that we have as human beings for figuring out how the world works. And there's a couple of reasons for this. And the internet is sort of both part of the problem and part of the solution. The way it is part of the solution, obviously, is that there is accurate information out there. If you look for it, you know where to look, you know what to find. Um, the way it's part of the problem is the internet is also full of misinformation. The internet can become, if you have particular views, an echo chamber where people can discover vast troves of information that tends to reinforce the preconceived notions that they already had about the world. Um, and that's, that's kind of problematic. One of the ways I think in which the internet has been the most damaging to human society is that it creates these echo chambers. It creates these divisions where people can find, rather than being forced to interact with people that have different views and discuss those opinions and views and sort of come to some degree of consensus, maybe, we can retreat into a world where everybody agrees with us and everybody is constantly telling us how right we are about stuff and, you know, how, yes, you know, that's a hoax and that's a conspiracy and, you know, that never happened and this happened or whatever. Um, and the internet is, is very good at creating communities and unfortunately those communities can spring up around shared ideas and some of those ideas are not so true. Um, but fundamentally, I think the problem here turns out, unsurprisingly, to not be the technology. The technology is just a tool that people are using in a variety of different ways, and the problem, as usual, is us. So one of the interesting things that we've discovered is that even if you can take people out of those echo chambers where they're surrounded by things that they already believe and confront them with evidence, you know, you may have had a conversation like this. You're talking to somebody and they believe this thing that is just totally false and you know it's false and you confront them with evidence. You say, you know, blah, 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 and you take them to the Wikipedia page and you show them the graphs and you show them the data and you say, this is how things are. And they, and how many times when you do that has that person been like, oh, you're right, of course, I've been wrong all this time. Turns out, when people are confronted with data that challenges some of their uh, preconceived notions about the world or preconceived ideas, they tend to get even more convinced that they're right. They cling even more strongly to those ideas. And sometimes they even develop sort of whole new theories uh, in order to sort of explain away um, the, way they, the way they think. You know, we don't change our minds about things that often. And that's a failing of us, not necessarily a failing of the internet. Let me challenge you, when's the last time over the past couple of years that you feel like you've changed your mind about a specific issue in a significant way? Something that matters to you, where you looked at an issue, you looked at the data, you know, you looked at you know, what various people said on, on different sides, and you actually switched your position from one side to the other. I'm not calling you out here. I can't think of something like that either, and that's not because I'm right about everything. Although, of course, like most of us, I do feel that way. Um, so this is a hard thing to do. We have this incredible tool out there to find out all sorts of information, to find out differing viewpoints on issues, uh, particularly when those issues aren't fact-based and it has to do with you know, what's the right way to handle a complex situation. We have an incredible trove of information and data at our fingertips. The problem is us and trying to use that information to relax some of those assumptions and to actually get us out of our comfort zone. And unfortunately, you know, the promise that we thought, you know, again, I think people thought, wow, there's this huge encyclopedia, now I can find out everything about anything, and people will stop believing these crazy things 
Turns out people still believe those crazy things. They find lots of people online who believe those crazy things that they can believe those crazy things with together. They find lots of bogus evidence online or misleading evidence or misinterpreted evidence online that supports their opinions and they get even more wedded to these crazy ideas. So this idea that somehow putting all this information out there freely available on the internet was gonna help us come to consensus about complex issues um, is not true. And as usual, humans are the problem.